guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it in case you're returning to this channel and you have not subscribed please do want to click on that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so that whenever i post any video you'll be the first person to be notified and if you're new here and you have not subscribed please consider subscribing and also turn on the bell icon so that whenever i post any video you'll be the first person to be notified okay and thank you guys so much to my old and returning subscribers for coming back again i really really appreciate it i don't take it for granted you guys i've been off for a while now and that's because i was not feeling very well you guys i just want to tell you that if you're well you're healed you're hearty you sleep you wake up and you can do things for yourself then you should just be very grateful to god and never take good health and life for granted that's just what i'm going to say but thank you guys so much for your prayers and your well wishes for those that um, wished me well and prayed for me sent me prayers kept checking up on me even in the course of my absence i really really appreciate it thank you so much i actually put it on my community tab but just a couple of people knew about it and yeah that's it so in today's video i'm going to be talking about work in austria and um i will be covering some types of work visa so if this is the kind of video you're interested in then please keep on watching before we go into all of the details about today's video i just want to quickly say a few things about austria which i find quite interesting and it is the fact that austria is very clean and safe the environments the regions the cities they are really clean and safe and if you're looking to provide a very good quality of life for yourself and your family then austria is a country that you might want to consider okay and also they have a very stable socioeconomic status so if you're looking to you know give yourself that um, boost in terms of economy and things like that financially then Austria is a country that you should consider now EU citizens and Swiss citizens do not need a work permit to work or live in Austria all right but for any other person that is a non-EU citizen or is from a third world country example countries in Africa Nigeria for example you need a work permit or a work visa for you to live and work in Austria there are various visa types the tourist visa which includes the ets um austria visa waiver and the schengen visa okay for austria is one visa type another visa type is the resident permit so the resident permits include bringing your family over so like you have a family that you want to bring over as someone who is living in Austria, that permit is available. There's the education permit and also there's the residence permit for executives. We also have the work visa, which includes the red, white, red card, the EU blue card and the job seeker visa, okay, type. So um, I will not cover the job seeker visa here because that visa is it has a lot of information on its own. So look out for the next video so that you can get all of that detail. This is the reason why you have to subscribe to this channel right now so that you are updated. Okay? Okay? And whenever I post that video, you'll be the first person to be notified. Now, let us get into today's video proper. Now, uh, for someone who is going to live and work in Austria, you need a particular kind of work visa, okay, for you to stay in Austria to live and work. The red, white, red card is one work visa type that is used by many people so i'm just going to list the kind or the categories of people that use this red white red card type of visa to work and live in austria the very highly qualified workers skilled workers in shortage occupation so Austria has a shortage occupation list just like is applicable to UK. They have a shortage occupation list. I will leave all the links in the description box below, guys. So you guys should do well to just go and check it out. So the very highly qualified workers, skilled workers in shortage occupation list, other key workers, graduates of Austrian universities and colleges of um, higher, higher education, self-employed key workers and startup founders, that is entrepreneurs, they are entitled to use this red, white, red card. Um, work visa type okay so that's just what you should know now there are various validity ranges or periods for the various types of um, work visas so just keep that in mind okay but for the red white red card it's valid for up to 24 months so as soon as that is expiring you will have to renew it let us talk about the eu blue card the eu blue card is a european program aimed at highly skilled non-eu workers okay it is a merit-based system that facilitates the immigration process for non-eu citizens 
citizens so if you are a non-eu citizen and you are opportunity to get the eu blue card then yeah you're very very good to go all right now all eu member states except denmark the uk ireland issue the eu blue card do you understand so non-eu citizens who already have an eu blue card but work in another member state can more easily obtain a work permit for austria once the applicant has secured a job offer remember there are criteria to these things you have to have a job offer for it they may apply for the eu blue card similarly to the red white red card the eu blue card is also linked to a specific job at a specific company so that is just one thing you have to know. Individuals that are eligible to apply for an EU blue card may have non-EU citizenship. So if you're a non-EU citizen and you are um, you have a job offer that is linked to a particular company, you are you are um, qualified to apply for the EU blue card. So if you have a higher degree of education and a professional experience, you have the opportunity of doing this. The employment contract or binding employment offer, if you have it, you have the opportunity of applying for an EU blue card. Okay, and if you earn a gross annual income of at least one and a half times the average gross annual income of full-time employees. To be eligible for an EU blue card, there can be no equally qualified Austrian or EU available for the job. So this is just like what applies to those that are looking to come and work in UK. Before they, you know, recruit someone from abroad, they need to be sure that there is nobody, nobody, totally nobody in Austria that can fit into that rule. And then they just have to, you know, seek for help from outside third world countries, in this case, not EU citizens, and then employ them and give them that blue card. Do you understand? So yeah, the easiest way and the fastest way to obtain a work visa for Austria is to apply for the red, white, red card. So it favors highly skilled um, um, workers and those that are looking to immigrate and they operate a point based system just like UK. Okay, so there's a point based system that they operate and you have to get up to about 70 points or thereabout for you to be able to get that red, white, red card and also the EU blue card as well. There are also points that you have to you know meet up with for you to be able to get it and of course i've talked about the validity ranges that uh, it ranges from up to six months to even up to 24 months for the red white red card it ranges up to 24 months now let us talk about who needs a work visa for austria okay so if you know that you want to go to austria and you want to work who is the person that needs a work visa because there are some people that are excluded from this and i think i mentioned it already earlier that those people that are eu citizens or swiss citizens do not need a visa to live and work in austria so but if you know that you are a non-eu citizen and you're going to stay there for over 180 days you are required to obtain a work visa okay Austria considers third country national, so they are very considerate. So you don't need to say, oh, I'm not an European citizen. I don't have a Swiss, a, a Swiss passport. Therefore, I can't, you know, work or, you know, live in Austria. No, they consider third world um, national. So if you're from Africa and any part of Africa, and you feel like, oh, you have the qualifications, you've gotten a job and you, you feel like you fit into the job and specifications you're seeing online for those that are advertising in, on Austrian websites, then please, by all means, apply and see where that, you know, gets you. I know a couple of you will be asking, so how do I get a work visa to work in Austria? How do I get this work visa that we're talking about? Now, work visas in Austria are issued for a specific job with a specific employer okay so applicants who applicants are required to provide proof of certain things number one the adequate means of sustenance so if you know that you are um, trying to get a job so you have to provide like proof of funds something like that that you can cater for your feeding your living expenses and things like that so your welfare for yourself and if you have a family for your family as well okay so it is possible for you to move over with your family okay and then um you also need the health insurance i've talked about this health, health insurance in a couple of other videos so you might want to go and check it out this health insurance is it's not so expensive like people think it is okay so it's quite easy you can always get this health insurance very very cheap and it should cover for all the risks for the entirety of your stay the duration of your stay in austria okay and then appropriate accommodation proof as well because they want to be sure that oh you have a place to stay so your um, contract of accommodation is something that you can use to prove that yes you have a place that you can stay in austria all right so 
that is it now all relevant documentation must be submitted to the austrian embassy in the applicant's country of origin so if you're in nigeria for example you have to go to the appropriate um austrian embassy in nigeria and submit all your documents and of course when you've gotten your job and everything submit all your documents and then they will look at it and approve it unless you're already in austria okay and you're under a visa and you're like moving from maybe student visa now to work visa something like that <laughs> then you can just submit directly to the local authorities okay Okay. now what is the requirement for you to apply for a work permit to apply for a work visa the applicant must have a valid job offer from an Austrian company so you can not just you know I mean that's what I'm going to cover in the next video you can you know get up and say oh I want to get a job in Austria but staying in my home country it is not possible then you apply for the job seekers visa I'm going to cover that in the next video so look out for that video but for you that is coming from a home country and you're trying to come over to Austria you have to have a valid job offer if you're going to go through the red white red card program or the EU blue card program something like that you have to have a valid job offer from an Austrian company okay first issued work visas are associated with a job and employer if applicant switches employer before the visa expires they will have to submit a new application to to link the new job to their visa to apply for a work visa applicants must provide the following documents your passport your visa application form of course there's no way you can submit um a, a, a form for um a work visa without the visa application form you have to have two recent passport size photographs so please be sure that you're getting the correct size okay and then the copy of your birth certificates all right a uh, proof of health insurance proof of sufficient um financial means proof of accommodation in austria okay and proof of completion of a course um, at a university or other educational institution with a minimum duration of three years and then your employer's declaration okay so that is what you need so applicants are also required to provide evidence of any claim made in the application so you have to provide like maybe oh i finished from a university your degree certificate your tax statement references work experience and proof of language skills as well so if you know your um, proficient in Austrian language you have to provide if you are saying oh yes I can speak Austrian language very well I know how to speak German language and things like that provide that proof in the course of your application okay so that is it for today's video I hope you understand everything I have talked about in today's video I am going to be covering the job seeker visa in the next video that you'll be seeing so please do well to click on the subscribe button so that whenever I post that video you'll be the first person to be notified okay now uh, we leave all the links in the description box below so that you can go and check out do your own research do more of your research okay and know what and what is required of you now for the criteria the eligibility and those points that i talked about earlier there are certain things that you have to um, get so if you're like 25 years of age you get a higher point if you're 40 years you get a lower point if you have years of experience you know you have um, more years of experience uh, in the job you're doing you get more points and just things like that so i will leave all the links so that you can go and check it out and have all those details okay please and please do well to go through it because if a lot of people just keep asking questions that have probably be answered in the course of the video or uh, even in the links in the description box so please do well to check it out okay thank you guys so much for staying and sticking with me up to this point please give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and also subscribe if you have not done so already please and please 80 percent of you guys over 80 percent actually of you guys that watch these videos are not subscribed and i really don't know why but no problem Sha. i'll just keep begging you to just subscribe please subscribe to the channel all right and also share 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 let this video get to everybody like it because it helps the algorithm it makes people more people see these videos okay so do so as well and also um keep pushing don't give up in the next video i'll be sharing some job sites that you can check you can apply for jobs and things like that so yeah look out for that video okay and yeah till i see you in my next video guys bye